Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. The preview for the Kroger ad came out. The preview for the JC ad came out. We will be going through those sometime today. I don't know what time. I don't know when. I've got a lot to do today since I went to see the Civil War yesterday. Um, so i got a lot to do. I'll get to it. Hopefully I'll go through it with you. There's just one thing I want to remind everybody. This is the time of year to get all of your pickling things you need and all of your preserving things that you need um, and to watch the sales deals and uh, reduced products at your local grocery stores. Um, right now, you know, we're going to be going into summer and the kids are going to be out of school. Um, so this week I did notice on a weekly digital that the blueberries are on sale again. So on that weekly digital, you can get five packs. They're going to be $1.99 a piece. What a great time to gather those and freeze them or make some blueberry preserves or syrup because with the kids being home in the summer, you can make up pancakes and then they can have that. What a great thing to have. So one thing to consider also when you're going into the reduced pro uh, produce, like last week I found cauliflower. Um, sometimes there's broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cucumbers, carrots, all of those things you could put in a jar and make some pickled vegetables to put into the refrigerator or pickle them and can them to put in your pantry. So this is the time of year to get all of that stuff ready because as we see um, reduced products and sale fruits and vegetables, what a great time to start gathering them. Last year I gathered and I had my freezer full of blueberries. And so this past fall, I made tons of blueberry preserves, which were perfect. And I can also take a scoop of that and put it into a blueberry muffin or bread mix or into my pancakes. And it's perfect. Um, so just remember that. Okay. So the mushrooms should be coming up here like in days, like there should be more. So I'm pretty excited about that. The husband mowed the grass. It's going to allow some more rain and sun to get deeper into the ground here. And I can't wait. I will be showing you how I fry my mushrooms. Yes, I fry them. I bread them and fry them because we make them as the meat of the meal. That's how I grew up. Um, a gal I used to hunt with, the only person in this area when I moved out here that would go mushroom hunting with me, she did the saute thing with her mushrooms, um, but she would also come up and eat my fried mushrooms. So, you know, it's a matter of taking the time to do it or being health conscious. Um, my thing is, this is a once a year kind of event. And if I get a mess of mushrooms, I'm going to fry them up. It's going to be the meat of the meal and we're going to enjoy them to their absolute. So there you go. That's what's coming up. And I will show you how I do it if I get enough. I mean, if I don't, I, I don't. So that's kind of like nature's call there, right? Okay. So yesterday I did go and see the movie Civil War. And I kind of want to talk about something that, <laughs> that bothered me from the beginning of the whole thing. Um, this is something that you can even see on the trailer. You have the guy in camo fatigues, whatever it is. And he's looking at these people and he says, what kind of American are you? Yep. So it kind of told me what side was going on there. And I want to tell you that I found something very alarming this morning when I was doing some research to just have have this to discuss because it really has bothered me. It really, really bothers me. But I'm going to read you this first. This is the definition of a hate group, a social group that advocates and practices hatred, hostility, or violence towards members of a race, ethnicity, nation, religion, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, and or other sector of society. That's a lot. If you practice just one of those things 
in a group. It makes you a hate group. So I thought, okay, so let's look up some hate groups. I mean, we all know the Ku Klux Klan. We all know some of the white um, Nazi part of groups. We, we know those kind of groups, okay? We know that there's also groups that are from another side or this side or that side. But something that startled me was the fact that in this long list of hate groups were churches. If your church is mentioned on this list of hate groups, the FBI knows it. So, I would not belong to a church that was considered a hate group. I would not belong in any group that was a hate group by any means. I can't imagine it. Someone asked me, what kind of American are you? I would be like, an American. I was born here. My mommy's from Kentucky. My daddy's side is from Kentucky. Now, my grandma on my dad's side said that she had Apache and Gypsy in her. That's what kind of American I am. I am not an American full of hate. I am not an American who judges others by any of the things that I mentioned. But churches being on a hate group list, that astounded me. I don't believe Jesus taught hate. Did he teach hate? Did he? The Roman... Christians, the Roman Catholics, they taught hate. They taught hate. Now, I'm not saying Catholics today are hateful. I'm not, I'm not saying that. But the Romans adopted Christianity to overthrow the earth at that time, right? <laughs> Which was a very much smaller place. And they still practiced paganism by the way, while they were doing this. So they were liars, haters, and Rome fell. Rome fell. And I am afraid to say that I see the United States going down the same road. There's only so much hate that can exist before it backfires or it erupts. And so my suggestion is if you go to those hate groups and you see your church on that list, be aware. Because that's not what Jesus taught, right? That's not what the Bible taught, teaches. Hate evil. But when you start calling people evil, then that's a hate group, right? I mean, I don't know. I know that someone who has done me wrong went on camera and admitted they had done wrong and asked Jesus for forgiveness, but never apologized to me. So it doesn't count, right? I'm just asking. Hate groups. A social group that advocates and practices hatred, hostility, violence towards others. It's there. I think hate is a wasted emotion. It's harder to love than to hate. 
loving people is harder to do because of preconceived ideas, our raising, our culture, and our church, right? According to this, there are a lot of churches on that hate group. I'm just saying, I don't believe that's what Jesus taught. And I believe that if you do someone wrong, you should apologize to them. Not just ask God for forgiveness. Y'all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. Hopefully we'll have some good videos today. Because I'm not going anywhere. And I'm not going to go sit in a theater by myself. And smell my dirty feet. I swear. So funny. I didn't change my shoes. Um, and while sitting in the theater, I could smell my shoes. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, if you can't laugh at yourself, who's going to laugh at you? Everyone else. Bye, y'all. Hugs from a distance.